Ashley. UDOT road crews are using a new technique to demolish the surface on a couple of bridge decks. It's all part of their rebuild of I-215's west side. And new specialist Jed Bowles shows us how they're using water just like a jackhammer to blast through concrete. This I-215 rebuild is UDOT's biggest project of the summer. And we got an up-close look at a demolition project this morning based on this idea that you can't make a hammer out of water, but you can use water like a hammer. It's very controlled method. With a, with a jackhammer method, we would not be able to allow traffic underneath right now. Merely a few feet from the flow of traffic, UDOT road crews are hydroblasting the surface right off the bridge deck over 3,800 south. No flying debris. The project manager says it's cleaner, safer, and more precise than a jackhammer. We can control uh, how we remove the top three to four inches of uh, concrete without damaging the surrounding concrete. Or the bridge structure underneath. The operator can hit the bridge deck with 36,000 pounds per square inch. That's about 24 times the strength of your home power washer. They spray out 15,000 to 17,000 gallons of water each 10-hour shift. That's about the amount of water in an average backyard swimming pool. It's just basically two pieces of equipment, one to do the demolition and the other one to collect the water and any debris. This vacuum sucks up the water and rubble. The water goes to the treatment plant, and the rubble is reused in the road. Hydro demolition, it's been around for a little while now, but we've just recently perfected this so that we can use it as an effective tool. The containment of the demolition enables UDOT to keep more lanes open as well as the road underneath. We always evaluate how can we minimize inconvenience? How can we, how can we make things go as smooth as possible for the, for the public? Total project cost, $105 million, and they estimate this technique saves them $2.5 million. The project is slated for completion in the fall of 2017. In West Valley City, Jed Bowl for KSL 5 News.